I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Today we're going to be talking about air guns. And the one that I've selected for today's episode is a Umarex and it's the uh, rifle. It's an NXG, in fact, here it is, right here. And uh, I've never shot this thing. It is a pump. It shoots both BBs and pellets. And I've got some Umarex BBs right here and some RWS hobby pellets. Now, what you want to do with this though, is if you're going to shoot pellets, shoot pellets. Don't combine them. You want to make sure that the gun is unloaded from BBs. If you're going to shoot the BBs, fine. And the reservoir will hold just approximately 75 of them. So you don't have to, you know, just put in whatever you want to shoot and go with that. Now, pull this out, and of course you have your, your manual. And you always want to read through that, especially on this one. Packing off of it. It has a fiber optic sight right up here. Uh, it also comes, this particular model, comes with a 4x15 scope. Uh, we might shoot that at some point, but I'm not sure we will today because I really think this thing's going to do great uh, just with the open iron sights. Uh, like I said, I haven't shot it, don't know how it's adjusted. Uh, it has a safety feature right here. It's an automatic safety. So that if that safety's off, just like that, you can do it with this. If this is pumped at all, see how that moved? It goes right to safe, right away. See how the safety went to it? Automatic. Take it off. Boom. Safety goes on. So, you never are in a mess there at not having your safety on. To actually pump this and get it ready, you pull back your bolt, and then you pump it, and then you put your BB, if you, you have the reservoir, the reservoir is right over here. That's where you pour the BBs in. If you're going to shoot a pellet, it's one at a time. You put this down, you pump it up, you put it in. Do not pump it more than 10 times. Uh, it's supposed to shoot a velocity of 800. Um, I don't really shoot that much because I'm backyard shooting and I would prefer just to, I mean I'm shooting a 10 meter course and the just a few pumps, in fact three pumps. If you're shooting in the house, if you've got one of those sort of ranges, they recommend about two pumps at the most. Uh, but uh, like I said, I shoot about three, maybe four pumps and that would be on this course and it works fine, but I haven't shot this one yet. We'll find out what it's going to do. So what do you say we take her over and we do a little shooting and then we're going to talk about it later. Well, as you can see, I decided to do a little bit of shooting before we started filming. I got one wreck, bullseye there, and that's with a pellet. I tried some BBs and I tried pellets. I'm doing the best with the pellets and I had to do some sight adjustment. I needed some elevation and I needed a little windage. Uh, so we're going to try this again and see what I get. Again, this is a pellet. I'm doing too bad there. Looks like I'm hitting the marks, but I'm wanting to. I'm anxious to see what this thing's going to do with a scope, but we're going to do that in another video. Uh, you can see what it'll do. The pellets are doing much better than what I did with the BBs. And as I said, I had to do some adjustments, so we're going to get that target. As I said, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this uh, on this Boomer X rifle, uh, pellet BB rifle. Uh, it's as far as pellets go, I mean, I'm right on the mark with that. I, I'm happy with it. The BBs were a little off, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, I'm going to be trying uh, several different types in it later in another video where we're going to be comparing uh, different BBs. And I'm also going to be doing that with an Umarex pistol, and I'm not too sure as to which one of those I'm going to do it with. I've got uh, three different ones. And uh, I may do it with the Beretta since it has a 20 round clip and then they're CO2s. But this one is a pump and that's what I like because I can pump it and I'll have exactly the same amount of pumps for whatever I do. And as I said, the I'm using these right here. 
this hobby pellets. These are RWS pellets. Uh, they do seem to work very, very well in this. And the target itself, a little shoot and see one here. As you can see, a lot of these are BB shots that I did off camera. And the pellet ones were, the, my first pellet was right here. I knew I had it too low, so I had to adjust the elevation, which I did. That's the one nice thing about this. It is adjustable for windage and elevation. Then I started hitting them some shots up here. I got my elevation up okay, because it was right about here. And I knew I had to take it over, and then this one was a BB over here, uh, after I had adjusted it. Well, picked up the pellets again, decided to go with that, and bingo, I hit right, as you can see, dead center, and then I've got some others here. So, and you've seen wherever the ones went that I fired that were on camera here. So I'm, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing as far as pellet shooting goes. BBs, I'm going to have to work with that a little bit more, but you can still plink with it. Uh, some people will shoot BBs a little bit closer than what I was doing, but I wanted to do everything the same. And as far as the gun itself, overall, everything, I like this. It's a quick up, right on target type thing. Um, Plinking in that, you're going to hear a lot of ding, 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 and tin cans or whatever. Yeah, you're definitely going to hit them when you start going for the bullseye. You're going to definitely want to do a little bit of adjustment. But as far as getting one of these, definitely. Definitely, they are a nice little pump air gun. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of plinking.